Hey guys, all right, this has been long overdue. It is the video for 3.1.4, which involves the while and if else statement. So the while loops are super awesome. They're really great. Um, basically what we've been using them, what we will use them for is to make a program run continuously. Uh, so if you've noticed all the programs we write, like we write it once, they run and then they're kind of over and they're done with, right? So this is something that we can use to make a program run continuously, right? So it's always going on, it never ends. So for instance, let's uh, go ahead and code out the one I was just writing, let's see. Let's uh, add ourselves a slash, uh-oh. Let's add ourselves a slash star here and a uh, star slash here. And then let's get rid of the uh, star slash from up here. Okay, so this one you can see right here. This is the one that I made while uh, just kind of for practice, just for fun. Basically, what it does is it just strobes the green LED over and over again. Let's hit FN, F5 right here. And uh, let's let's check it out. You know, you probably won't be able to, oh, I could, I could just turn the uh, face cam. Here we go. So this just uh, strobes the LED with a 0.2 second interval. And you could see it maybe, oh, no, I knocked my microphone over. Getting pretty high tech here, pretty low tech. There it is. You can see the LED strobing right there. All right, so now that LED is just going to keep strobing constantly. It's just going to continuously go. This program is just going to run until, you know, the computer runs out of batteries. So there you go. It's just... It's just constantly running. Now, why is it constantly running? It's constantly running because we set the while condition to be one equals one. And one always equals one. Therefore, <clears throat> this condition is always going to be true. So this program is always going to run. Now, the question is one question you may have is why do I use two instead of just one equals? Well, let's see. Let's let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Control save and then FN F5 and let's run the program. And it says, oh, there's some it can't assign const qualified variable. Hmm. So what it didn't like line 32 assignment equals embedded in expression. So basically the problem is, is that the single equals the one equal sign is basically used to assign uh, variables to values. So you would you might say variable x equals four and that would assign a value of x to being equal to four here when you want to test for equality and say wow one equals one that's why we're going to use the uh, double equals so let's control n fn f5 and let's run it again and uh, we'll get our code blinking again now you want to make sure to get the right uh sort of let's stop that because the green's kind of annoying make sure you have your syntax right where you have uh, this one, the opening one for the while, and you have the closing one for the while. Okay, so now let's see, let's delete this real quick. All right, so this is the other program. I was messing around with some other options with it. This is the other uh, program that you have to write, and actually you guys write a slightly different version of it. Let's move our, uh, let's move our green up here, and we'll bring our end up here. Control X and Control V. All right, there we go. So while one equals one, so this is going to constantly loop, and then we're going to use an if else statement to turn the flashlight on whenever the light sensor is sensing darkness. Uh, so if you look at what the way the code works, it's this. So the uh, if the sensor value of the light sensor turns turns on so this is constantly running so you can imagine the applications you know the mars rover it's cruising around the surface of mars and it's going to turn the flashlight on whenever it gets dark it's going to get dark every day and every night so every time it's dark you know the mars rover is going to turn on its flashlight so in this case we're going to use the if and then we're going to use the sensor value is greater than 700 that's a pretty good threshold for darkness turn the flashlight on and then you want to specify the flashlight and the power level else turn the flashlight off so during the day you don't need to be wasting power running the flashlight uh oh now i just ripped out the flashlight let me plug that back in just for a second all right so here we go let's run this code control s and then fn f f5 
right there. Uh oh, it's giving me an error. Unexpected that during parsing. Okay, so I appears I have an extra. Uh, I have an extra. Let's get rid of this one. I have an extra curly brace. There we go. Control S F N F five. All right, and while we're waiting this to start up, pardon me, I'm going to plug the flashlight back in. All right, so pardon me for the uh, interruption here. Let's go ahead and start the program. And you can see it's kind of just stuck, like it's just stuck waiting for the if else. It's constantly cycling through and checking for the if statement to become true. Now, I'm going to turn the computer again. I know this is probably kind of a janky system, but what are you going to do? Here we go. So now your program should do this. Every time you cover up the light sensor, that flashlight should turn on and it should turn on and off really quick and really responsively to the light sensor. If it's not doing that, then you probably need to look at your code. The most common errors that happen during this are that uh, you have an issue with your curly braces. So you need a curly brace to open and close the wire. Let's stop that. All right, you need a curly brace to open and close the while statement. And then you need a set of curly braces for the if and a set of curly braces for the else. Also make sure that you have all of your uh, parentheses in order and your semicolons as well. But if you get all of this right here, if you get all the curly braces in the right place, that should work. So <clears throat> there we go. That's that program right there. Um, the program or the, the packet here, let's see. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to exit out that so I don't crash the computer while I'm making a video. Uh, the, the program right here actually asks you to add another while loop in right here uh, while the limit switch is pressed. So this is just adding an extra condition. Um, so the, the while is going to, it's going to repeat indefinitely. So one equals one. And then you're going to want to add in another while loop that refers to the limit switch sensor right here. And uh, remember this, the limit switch just varies from zero to one depending on whether it's pressed or not. So I'm going to let you guys write that one. It's not too bad. I mean, it, it's really hard. What am I talking about? Okay. And then the, uh, the last one is learning how to use the timer right here. You're going to want to just clear the timer. And then you can actually set a while loop to run for a specific amount of time. Um, and so for instance, if you didn't want, you wanted your your strobe lights come on, you know, with your LED blinking uh, in two second intervals, um, but you didn't want that to run forever. You only wanted it to run for 20 seconds. Um, then you could use something like this, right? You could use a, the timer. Now notice that it run, it goes right here to 20,000. That's not actually 20,000 seconds. The timer runs in milliseconds, which is one one thousandth of a second. So right here, looping for 20 seconds is going to be accomplished by actually typing in 20,000 as the value 20,000 milliseconds equals 20 seconds. So let's just see, you know, this, this program is kind of short. It's annoying that, uh, <clears throat> It's kind of annoying that it doesn't work so well or that, that it, it has a time limit on there. But let's just see, <coughs> pardon me, how much we can get control X and then control V. Okay, let's just see how much we can get in there uh, in the time we have left. Clear timer and then we'll use T1. So there are multiple timers you can use. We're going to use timer one, T1. And then we'll write a while loop while. Well, now what is it? Uh, time. Let's see. While time of T or while time one of T1 is less than 20,000. Okay. So while time one of T1. So we're running. <clears throat> we're running T1. Okay. We're approaching the recording limit. Got 30 seconds left. While time one of T1 is greater than, or pardon me, is less than, and let's just do 10,000. So it'll only loop for 10 seconds here. While time one of T1 is less than 10,000. Did I uh, syntax that right? Let's see. I have too many 
of these. So let's see, wild time one. 